Hello, everyone. I hope you guys can hear me and you guys can see my screen. So my name is Regina Evangelista and work welcome to Mr. Outsource University coming live to you here in Davao City. And we would like to welcome you to Mr. Outsource University's third webinar. And before anything else, we would like to encourage everyone to please take down notes. Please put your phones in silent mode. Please ask questions. And of course, we will send out recorded videos and some notes so you can review this webinar later on. So welcome to Outsourcing Mastery of Mr. Outsource University. And this is our third webinar, and we would like to welcome those who are newcomers to this webinar series. And of course, we would like to thank those who have been with us from the first and to the second webinar and now the third. So we'd like to welcome you all. And today we would like to discuss, or um, the title of the webinar is How to Be the Best Talent Market. Now, um, if you guys want to know, um, outsourcing telemarketing services in the Philippines is old news. It's not something new. It's not that, it's not, Filipinos have been doing, Filipinos are the best telemarketers, in fact. We, in fact, you know, the Philippines remains to be the top BPO destination for, for the estimated $150 billion of business process outsourcing industry in the world. And this is very, very impressive because a lot of um, foreign businesses would like to invest here in the country because we are we, we, we just are the best when it comes to telemarketing. So here we would like to discuss on the webinar what is telemarketing, of course, types of telemarketing, examples of telemarketing, and of course, we will be sharing some tips and techniques for marketing success. As what I've mentioned earlier, the call center industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the country, and telemarketers or call centers in the Philippines are just booming. You know, the person you're walking down the street with is call center agent. You know, the the college students, nursing students, nurses, doctors, you know, believe it or not, they're call center agents, they're telemarketers, they're part-time telemarketing. Uh, they do part-time telemarketing tasks, teachers, college students, professors. I know a lot of people who are doing part-time jobs for um, call centers. And in fact, according to the call center directory of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, the Philippines has now more than 1,000 call centers over 20 key locations. In Makati alone, we have 274 call centers, telemarketing places. And Makati 274 is actually called the call center hub or the call center capital in the country. And um, Ortiga Center, we have 141 call center companies in there. Quezon City, 77. Metro Cebu, we have 44. And of course, Metro Davao, we have 10 in here. And, um, and this is because we can do almost all types of customer relations, you know, ranging from travel services, technical support, education services, customer care services, financial services, and of course, sales and marketing, which we're going to concentrate is, you know, the latter part, the sales and marketing, which is a telemarketing. So what is really a telemarketing? What is really, you know, a telemarketing? What is a telemarketer? How, what does it do? What does it do? So first, what a telemarketing is one of the ways of direct marketing, which involves the use of telephone for marketing or sales purpose. Okay, the salesperson involved, or let's say me, uses the telephone to directly convince a customer over to buying some kind of product or uh, services with a complete information or detailing session that we will be having over the phone. So it's 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 a challenge because you, you cannot see your 
another person over the phone. So we will address the challenge later on. But um, old school telemarketing uses a landline, those big telephone devices that we have before, and then a, a thick collection of lists, all just numbers. And, you know, old school telemarketers would just call through all them one by one, crashing one at a time, not interested one at a time. But today, we have different softwares to use, you know, to have telemarketing, even at home. If, if you want to be a telemarketer, home-based telemarketer or someone working at home, you actually can use Skype. And you, all you need to do is have this credit. You buy credit in Skype and you, you can call unlimited landline to the world, to everywhere, as long as... And then um, you also can do voice over internet protocol software or system. It's a VOIP. You can do free landline calls using the internet. You know, and... You have different systems and softwares you can also use to automatically dial for you, automatically record record your conversation, automatically um, dial for you again. And these are the very important things that helps telemarketing in the Philippines or anywhere in the world very, very easy. All you need to do is have that persuasion to sell that thing, I mean, to sell this product or um, <clears throat> services. Okay, so next is what are the two major types of telemarketing? We have B2B, business to business, and of course, B2C, business to business. Okay, I'm sorry. Business to business. B2B is actually a transaction between two businesses. So let's say, a salesperson of one business is a manufacturer and then the other business is a wholesaler. So manufacturer to wholesaler calling, okay? Or I'm a wholesaler and I wanted to talk to or propose a business proposal to a retailer. So that's business to business and you do that over the phone. That's a telemarketing, B2B telemarketing. <clears throat> Next is a B2C, business to customers. Now, this is uh, making calls to individuals or customers, convincing them to buy various products or services. Now, these, the, if, if, if you're going to ask me which is harder, B2B or B2C, both, but much, much harder with B2C because the um, B2, customers don't like to receive telemarketing calls most of the time, especially in the U.S., they don't welcome telemarketers. So if, you know, if you're a best telemarketer, you actually can do a lot of things over the phone. And if you can convince customer to buy, then you're a nice catch. And you're just an amazing telemarketer. So um, next, but we do have subcategor subcategories for these two types of telemarketing. We actually have uh, lead generation, sales, outbound and inbound telemarketing. Lead generation is the gathering of information or contacts. This is when you just want to call. Say you want to call a business and you're just going to ask for the services that they have and then you're just going to list them all down. Then maybe you can call a thousand companies in your area and just all list all their services, all their um, promos, for example. So that's lead generation. It's just a gathering of information. And then next is sales. Sales, this is actually the most um, difficult, but it is the most rewarding because of the bonuses and the incentives you get if you make a sale. It's the sales, again, is to sell a product or service. Now, outbound telemarketing is a proactive marketing in which Prospective and pre-existing customers are contact, uh, contacted directly. So if you have a subscriber in this magazine and you need to call them if they're happy with their service or anything, and then you're going to ask if they're likely to renew their subs subscription. So you're the one calling them. So that's outbound call. Inbound, however, is a reception of incoming callers. You receive inbound calls 
from subscribers. The subscribers call you and will tell you that they, they want to renew their subscription, they want to know the new products, and or they have questions about your subscription. So whatever. So they're the one who calls you. That's inbound. Outbound, however, you are the one who calls them. Outbound is much difficult because it's an unexpected. Most of the time, it's unexpected. You do cold calling. But if you mention that you're calling for this blah, 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 and you know they, they're, they, are, they are subscribed to that magazine or to that company, they will automatically welcome you over the phone. However, if you are just calling them out of the blue and asking them, you know, just subscribing your magazine that they don't know about yet, so it needs extra effort. It needs a very, very great telemarketing skills. So you can do that. Okay. And next is, um, but telemarketing is never just a serious, just selling process or a job. It's, it's actually very, very fun because you talk to different types of people. You converse with different races, with different um, cultural people all over the world. And, oh, well, you, you don't really necessarily engage to a casual conversation, but the conversation, the business conversation that you do with them actually is very funny. I mean, let me just share with you this <clears throat> call center um, scenario, okay? Now, my tech support friend says, okay, Bob, let's um, press the control and escape keys at the same time. That brings up a task list in the middle of the screen. Now type the letter P to bring up the program manager. So this tech support is teaching Bob, who actually called inbound calling, okay? Bob called us, the tech support, and asked for help. And that's what the tech support says. And then the customer said, I don't have a P, letter P. And the tech support said, on your keyboard, Bob, the letter P on your keyboard. And the customer said, what do you mean? And then tech support said, P on your keyboard, Bob. And of course, customer said, I'm not going to do that because you know I'm not going to P on my keyboard. It's just really funny, you know? It's These are just one of the funny conversations that um, a typical call center agent can have, you know? And one time there's this, you know, can you close the window, ma'am? And then, and then the woman just said, yeah, my windows are closed. And all of this conversation, what the customer meant was her windows in the house. But the tech support meant the windows on the computer. So, you know, it's at the end of the day, at the end of a call, you know, both of you and the customers will just laugh about how, you know, the, how the conversation went. So it's not just all annoying don't sell me stuff it's um there's also some fun stuff and you can meet people once you're a telemarketing you know a telemarketer so anyway <clears throat> we will be um going to more serious now so we will actually tell you some samples examples of telemarketing and mr outsource what we do here um one of our clients in mr outsource um would like us to call photographers in the UK and he wants us to ask them to send images to his company you know they want us to get clients for him over the phone so he sends us this list and <clears throat> all we does is call these photographers and tell them about our client's company about how he can benefit you know, and we're just going to sell the services um, to the photographers. And it's, it, you know, it's, it doesn't really take, I'm sorry, it doesn't really take um, that, uh, that fast of time. So, you, you know, to sell something. However, if you know your, if you know what you're talking about, and if you know the client's need, you can actually just, you know, sell easily and another um another telemarketing 
services that we do with that we do in um, Mr. Outsource is we call clients and then we confirm we confirm them that hey I called yesterday and I just wanted to confirm if you've sent them that if you if you've sent the um, photographs to this email already or did you already take action with what you said or did you already subscribe to our newsletter did you already sign up with our program 30 30 days program so like that so what we do is also follow up and okay so we will go to tips for telemarketing success but before that i just want i forgot we also do customer support and for mr outsource we actually um, accept calls and answer questions over the phone and then we actually just you know tell them the um we actually have a faq faq is a frequent ask questions and we have all the answers in there so whenever a customer asks about this question so we just have all the answers so that's us also one of the telemarketing tasks that we do in mr outsource Okay, so next is a tips for telemarketing success. Now, first of all, being a telemarketer is not an easy job. Most people reject you within two seconds. Most, call, most people will become irate during the call, you know, if you don't sell well most people are annoyed by telemarketer and it's sad but at the same time it's rewarding you know if, if you get to tell people the right things they want to hear if you just tell people what they want to hear you know if, if you just provide solution to their problem then you know you can just you can just talk and talk and the customers would love to hear about it okay but first of all you need to prepare okay that's the first thing prepare how do you prepare first you should know how to pronounce the company's name that's for sure and this is the most excellent time to contact a customer and the time that they're open to talk about new ideas you know that, that this is the time where um, you prepare on what to say you prepare on the name you're going to use the reason you're going to say why are you calling I mean remember the first 15 seconds of your call the customers should already know if I want to talk to you or not okay you must establish a great or a refreshing or a comfortable rapport within that 15 seconds. So that is very important. You should prepare for it. In many cases, 85% of the total appointment setting today or telemarketing today is set before noontime, especially in B2B telemarketing centers. Why noontime? Because people are more relaxed in noontime already so they've already adapted to the working space so it's best that if you call at that time so while you wait for 12 noon it is best if you prepare in the morning next is listen good attitude and persistence is mandatory now as a telemarketer you just talk and talk and talk about your product product however you must also listen Okay, listening to your customer or listening to the other side of the phone will actually help you determine what is the need or what is the pain of that person that I need to address to. What is, what is this person's problem that, that my company can provide solution for? And whenever you know, whenever you listen to the words she or he is saying, then you can know when and where to attack her not attack but you know attack the problem so you know okay this person needs a good computer because her laptop is always crashing so i need to tell her the specs of my computer the, the specs of the laptop that i'm selling to her that's actually one of the best tips for us in selling 
Next is equipment. It is proven in lots of businesses, of course, that the clients act and respond better when the telemarketer or you is conversing naturally. Headsets are very helpful, of course, for letting you converse more naturally on the, over the telephone because you can use your hands to gesture. You know, telemarketers are really funny because if you just look at them, they have their headsets on and then their hands are just everywhere, you know? And just like what I'm doing now, I'm talking here, but my hands are everywhere. This is because it, my hand gestures or my body gestures reflects in my voice, reflects the call. So if I'm just slouching my way here and just, I'm just sitting and my voice, you know, sounds slouch and sounds lazy. And, you know, my, the other person or you guys listening would be bored with me. So hand gestures will actually enlighten your voice that, hey, I'm not talking to a robot. I'm actually talking to a person who's trying to give me solutions or is trying to give me um, services that I need for my problem. So it's best that if you have a headset that, you know, you don't, a comfortable headset that you don't feel bothered. And then you, you also need to have a good internet connection and a good mic. Now, next is know yourself. Always know yourself. And this is funny because people just, hey, I'm calling, you're calling for what? You're calling for who? And you just say, mention the company and you don't know what it is about. You don't know your client's company. You don't know what you're selling. You're, you just have this script and you just read. That's not telemarketing. You should know what and who you're selling. And of course, you should know the person you're selling to. And that is that actually helps for the second tip, target. Targeting the people you're calling is a very, very great advice. It's a very great move. If you know the person you're calling, if you identify the problem again, if you identify his pain, if you identify if you identify his pleasure, you can actually know what kind of product or what kind of services to offer him or her. So for example, in a conversation with a photographer, he actually spends 80% of his time just editing photos and 20% of his time taking pictures. So instead of this, instead of wasting 80% of your time image editing, why not let us do the image editing and you can have 80% of your time developing your business, getting more clients, making more money, you know, and you don't already need to worry about image editing because we can handle it for you. So you can actually make more money, grow your business, photograph, which is what you really do, and maybe just advise us with image editing. And then when the customer hears that, you know, he has more time to spend with his family, more money, more sales, and boom, he would likely, likely to say yes to what you're offering over the phone. So it is best to know what his problems are. It is know what, what are the solutions that he is needing. And he has this um, maybe bad car wheel. And then you're just selling a great car wheel, you know? It's, you just need to target. You just need to know who your target are, uh, targets are. You need to know, you need to identify, again, the pain or the pleasure. Next is simplicity or make it simple. Make the conversation simple. You don't need to have this dramatic introductory about yourself and your company over the phone. Make it simple straightforward and you're good to go now next advice that we can actually help you is make a script compose a script but please do not read it then okay you might say what's the use of a script if i don't read it okay make a script and familiarize the script memorize the script but never read it because once you read a script, 
the customer or the other person over the phone will hear you. Oh my God, he's reading. And then he will just hang up. And then you call another and then you sound monotonous reading and then hung up. And then you call and then hung up. You're wasting your time. You're wasting a valuable prospect that you can actually sell products to. So you must compose a script and the script must have introductory statement. This will say your name, your company you're calling for, and the reason you're calling. Next, again, yes, the reason for the call. This should be very, very precise and straightforward. I am, hi, my name is Regina. I'm calling for MrOutsourceUniversity.com. And we're actually calling because we have this blah, blah, blah. We have this new free training program and maybe you're interested to become a virtual assistant, blah, blah, blah. Now he will say, oh no, you know, it's okay. I have this. And then whenever you all, remember the listen technique that I, that I told you? And then you listen to his or her response to your introductory statement or the reason of your call. And he will, and then that's when you know, and then that's when you know what his problems or his or her problems are. And then you will know how to address his problem. Okay. And then if now if he didn't say a problem or he didn't suggest anything, and maybe he just Yes, no, yes, no, just those kinds of questions. You ask questions, you probe for questions, you dig deep, you ask questions, but not in an annoying way. You just, you know, ask casually, how is business, by the way? You know, just ask, how is business? Is it the busy days for you now? Oh, yeah, really, like that. I mean, how is your career? Do you like to be a virtual assistant? Do you want to work from home? You know, and then you'll know, no, you know, I've got lots of kids and, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, oh, I just want to stay at home, be a full-time mom. And, and then you say, hey, you can actually work from home as a virtual assistant. And then you'll, you just have to explain. You just, you just have to focus on the at-home part because that's what she wants, that's what she needs to be with her family. So that is actually one of, one of the best tools Next is, of course, identify the problem or the need, and then you actually promote your product and services. And then once he or she agrees, you know, and then you close the sale and then you end the call. Whenever she says, yes, okay, I will subscribe. Yes, I will send photographs. Yes, I will buy that car wheel. Yes, I will buy that perfume. Yes, I will sign up to the subscription. Then you close the sale. And then you're done. And then you just say thank you and be polite and, you know, just tell them, have a great day, have a nice day. So that's about it. And if you want to learn more about these tips and tricks, if you want to see the sample script that we have, if you want to take the test, you know, to know that if you're, a, um, if you pass to be a telemarketer, then go please sign up to www.mrouthsourceuniversity.com. We have a telemarketing course in there. And there's um, it's a free virtual assistant training. And we also focus on telemarketing. So there are lots of videos there that you can watch. Very, very helpful. And then there's an, you can actually listen to an actual call conversation over the phone. So you can actually also enjoy that. And next, um, uh, this, this is how it looks, Mr. Outsource Training, and that's our CEO and founder himself, Erlen Bakke. He is Mr. Outsource, and he will share some tips as well on uh, some telemarketing stuff. And telemarketing is actually on module number 10. So there's, there's a step-by-step -step telemarketing tips in there and procedures, straightforward uh, easy to understand, interactive tests. And of course, if you pass the test, we will hire you. Again, for all registrants for MrOutsource.com. And then if you have all these tests, if you took all these tests and you actually pass, pass the test, then yes, you are actually, we're actually, you know, we are going to um, give you a client that matches you. Okay. Just. Perfect.
It's a perfect relationship with Mr. Outsource and a virtual assistant. So again, thank you so much for um, listening. If you guys have any questions now, it's good to raise them. <clears throat> We have a question here. It says, okay, Mr. Outsource Support. Yeah, we, again, we, we also, we can, uh, as a virtual assistant, you can actually do customer support. All you need to do is um, answer your customer call and then you address him or her. Most uh, most customers are very polite, you know, and just they will just tell you the problems are. But there are times when customers are really angry when they call you and you're just, you just absorb everything over the phone. <clears throat> so it's best if you also know how not to feel rejected or not to feel, what do you call it? Uh, maybe not to feel hurt. I mean, don't take anything personally. I mean, they're just angry because their credit card is not working. So, I mean, or they're just angry because the car wheels that they just bought, you know, is not functioning very well. So you need to address them properly. And there are some FAQs and manuals and procedures on how to address them. It's actually on www.mrouchsourceuniversity.com. So uh, guys, I thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm coming to you live again. My name is Regina Evangelista from Davao City. You do have a great day. And we also have another question here. Let me see. Okay, how do we sign up for Mr. Outsource University training? Okay, all you, again, all you need to do is log on to www.mroutsourceuniversity.com and there is a sign up page in there that will actually just sign me up in there and all you need to do is provide some information and you are good to go. We actually have 12 we actually have 13 now 13 modules and the 13th module is affiliate marketing so it's also an advanced task as a virtual assistant so it's also best if you know how to do it so um those are check. again i just want to thank everyone for joining me and you all have a great day. Thank you.